Eight reasons why you whiff in Rocket League. Even the best pros whiff. The only difference between you, me, and Zen is you whiff a lot, I whiff a little less, and Zen only whiffs when he's going for psychos. Fear not to save your embarrassment. I am your resident grand champ coach, and today I'll be teaching you the eight most common reasons myself and people I coach whiff the ball. That way, all you have to do is watch along, pick out these mistakes, and you Use the solutions I recommend to fix them. Reason number one, Wi-Fi lag. Yes, this is an actual reason a lot of people whiff, and it's not just a cope I use on stream. There's no way. That's not what happened on my screen. What? The worst part about Wi-Fi lag is, yeah, you can tell when it's really bad, but sometimes it might be happening without you even noticing it. Since the Rocket League servers have been so bad recently, I went to check on my Wi-Fi and you won't believe what I found. So I did a quick internet speed test. If you just go to Google here with me, you can Google internet speed test and just click the run test button. These are the results of me running the test on Wi-Fi. I make these videos out of Chicago, Illinois. Here, let's see if you can see my window here. Can't really see, but like Camille, maybe flatten this out. You see, you know, if you follow me on Instagram, you oh, there goes the camera. Come back, wake up. We're alive. Okay. <laughs> Center. No, I'm dead again. You know, I'm based out of Chicago, Illinois. So that means when I queue US East, I get around 40 to 50. 50 ping you know we'll come back to that later but if you look at my internet speed test here i got 520 download 470 upload this is when i am playing wireless but a quick fix i did i went on amazon the other day and because i was lagging so bad on stream you guys were telling me i tested out ethernet because if you don't know me i actually used to make fortnite videos and in fortnite ping matters a lot you know when you're trying to like you know get peace control and and pull edits on people ping like literally wins championships i got an ethernet cable for like i don't know 10 or 20 bucks and I'm running it from the other room back to here. When I reran the test, this is after I plugged in my ethernet cable. I got 790 download and over 900 upload. So what that means is I got a 50% boost in my download, but more importantly, I basically got a two X on my upload speeds, literally for 10 bucks. Me personally, I have not noticed any connection issues since I went wired. And not only that, but having a wired connection can also improve your ping, right? It doesn't just get you a more stable connection, but it actually helps your computer send inputs to the game client faster. Consider getting a wired connection. I'd be interested to know like how much ping and speed test improvement you see. So let me know in the comments down below and I'll go heart some of your guys' comments. That way you can see how much this actually helps. Reason number two you whiff, air rolling the wrong way. But first, if you still want to rank up in 2024, I recommend joining the Grand Champ Bootcamp. That is the largest live coaching program in this game, which takes plats through champs up to Grand Champ in just 12 weeks time. Don't believe me? Savage here just hit GC in twos and threes less than three weeks from the time I'm recording this. Cracked is peaking in 1v1 and Anthony here, it's Dace, seems to be pretty happy about reaching GC for his first time. If you're interested, don't wait. They currently can only enroll six people max per day. So click the link below and DM their Discord with keyword peak to see if you qualify for coaching. Okay, so a lot of new players hear me or, you know, tutorial makers like me, maybe Thanovic or, or other guys say that you're supposed to air roll on shots. And they take this to mean the completely wrong thing. They think they need to like turn their car upside down. They think like air roll magically adds more power. Like if you're upside down, you shoot faster than if you're right side up. No, air rolling is just a way to get your car lined up faster with the ball and it can help you generate power more consistently, but it's not like it magically creates more power. To air roll the right way, simply use what I call the Lightning McQueen method. Stick with me here. You know, like in the the Cars movies where Doc is teaching Lightning how to turn and he's like, sometimes you got to turn right to go left. You know what I'm talking about? If you're going hard enough left, you'll find yourself turning right. Oh, right. That makes perfect sense. Turn right to go left. Yes. It's the same thing in Rocket League. You have to air roll right to shoot left and you have to air roll left to shoot right. The reason for this is because when you air roll right, you expose the top left of your car and that's how you actually want to dodge into the ball to get the most power. This is confusing at first, but if you just memorize the Lightning McQueen method and just think about this video, every time you're going for your air roll shots, you'll be able to air roll shot like the pros and 
just a few weeks or even days of practicing. I'll drop my favorite aerial shots training pack. I think there's an aerial shots by Yiza pack that I've recommended on the channel before. I'll have that link down below. Mistake number three, air rolling too much. I actually interviewed App Jack last week for a video on the channel called the Rocket Lead Ranked Ladder is Broken. You guys seem to love that, by the way. But he told me still to this day, App Jack, right? So really good pro player. He says still to this day, he catches himself air rolling too much when he's going for shots. The point of air roll is to help you line up with the shot and maybe confuse the defender. Yet when I'm watching Platts and Diamonds go for air roll shots, they're air rolling so much, they're not only confusing the defender, they're also completely confused in their own head and it ruins the shot. So remember, less is more. If you're going for an air roll shot on the ground, it's a flick of the joystick. It's a tap of air roll, not a hold. Tip number four, bad camera or stiffness settings. Okay, so I want to talk about two settings that can actually make you whiff the ball a lot. And this is something I was just reminded of recently when I started queuing 1v1. Setting number one is called stiffness. According to the Rocket League definition, camera stiffness gives you the ability to tell your camera to follow your car more tightly or more loosely while you're speeding up. A low stiffness means that when you boost up to supersonic, for example, your car is going to shrink out a ton. Whereas high stiffness means tight follow. So even if you boost at max speed, right, and you get up to supersonic, your car will not shrink or expand visually at all. So you'll have a more consistent view. This is important because when it comes to consistency, it seems like a higher stiffness is generally better. Now, this is not a hard and fast rule, right? Camera settings are totally subjective and personal preference. But me personally, I found the most consistent results when I use a high stiffness. Now, meta range for most pros and what I found personally works best for me is anywhere from 0.4 to 0.6 on the high end. But there are high level players who use 1.0, like Lathamir and Azapathos, whose camera doesn't move at all when their car speeds up. Setting number two is camera height. I see so many platinum or diamond players playing with like 160 camera height. When it comes to shooting, and not whiffing the ball, this camera height is terrible. Using a 160 camera height makes it literally impossible to see what part of your car is connecting with the ball. And ideally, you're going to be able to make a more precise touch if you are closer to your car. So of course, stay in meta range. I think the meta range for camera height is anywhere from 90 to 110. But me personally, I found the best results at 90 or 100. Use meta range for camera height and use meta range for stiffness, and you're going to get way less whiffs in your ranked game. Mistake number five, backflipping or double jumping by accident. Another reason you might be whipping your shots is because you're actually just doing miss inputs. And the two most common things that I see people suffer from are the accidental backflip on aerials and the accidental double jump when they're trying to like front flip into the ball. If you're somebody who suffers from accidental backflipping on your aerials, I recommend you increase your dodge dead zone. What this is going to do is it's going to make you need to push your joystick down farther in order to register a backflip, which means when you're quickly going through your fast aerial motion, you know, on, on camera here, look something like this. Like you're quickly going through your fast aerial. That's my boost, whatever. So increasing will make it less likely to backflip or front flip. Whereas if you're more of the second person that struggles with accidentally jumping, I recommend you lower your dodge dead zone. This is because you are trying to like front flip into the ball, but you're not pushing your joystick up high enough. And so the game is thinking you're trying to just double jump when you're not. Now, most of you are going to fall middle range, just like with every setting, staying in the middle meta range, I call it, is recommended. I think meta range for dodge dead zone is 0.4 to 0.6. But if you're somebody who struggles more with one of these issues than the other, you can go outside. Make those quick changes with your dodge dead zone, and that will help your mechanical consistency and your shooting loads. Mistake number six is input lag. Let me tell you a story about input lag that made me realize how important this is. Last year, in summer 2022, I went to RLCS World in Dallas, and I had like played this little 1v1 tournament at G2's booth, and I noticed something crazy about input lag. Now, you guys know I'm a wash coach that's struggling to get to SSL, but I swear at this venue, I was playing on a console at the G2 booth. I think it was like a PlayStation or an Xbox. And I was struggling to consistently like air dribble in private lobbies against champs and grand champs. And the reason I later found out is because input lag is much worse on console than it is on like beast PC that I'm used to playing on. 
So let me show you how you can figure out your input lag and improve it. If you go into free play in Rocket League and you're on PC with me, if you hit the F10 button, you'll see a pop-up on the top right of your screen. The two key metrics that you want to look at are the two numbers on the top of the screen. You'll see this 240 here. That's my FPS because I have a 240 hertz monitor. And you'll see below that a number that looks green and that's hovering around 3.9 to 4. This is my input lag. So this is how long it takes for me to, you know, hit jump on my controller and my car to jump in game. A lot of you might not know this. Rocket League is actually unfair. The better computer you have, the faster computer you have, the faster you can sort of play. If I increase my FPS here, I can get as low as like two milliseconds on my input delay. Whereas if I only play on like 60 FPS, which is what most consoles output, my input lag can go up anywhere from five milliseconds to 10 milliseconds. Performance matters. So consider upgrading your monitor and your gear. You know, I recommend PS4 controller because input lag is a real thing. And I absolutely noticed an improvement in my performance when I started playing with better gear. Number seven, bad reads. If you've got everything else correct on this list, one reason you might be whiffing the ball that has nothing to do with your mechanics or your car control is you're just getting a bad read on the ball, right? The ball hits off the corner and you think it's going to be somewhere and it's somewhere completely else. Now, as a coach and content creator, I'm going to do what I always do and tell you guys the truth. Bad reads take hours to correct. So I will tell you the best way to improve your reads is get in free play, turn on unlimited boost and hit the ball around, right? No way around it. But if you're looking for a quick way to improve your reads, one suggestion I make to players when I coach is simply to stay grounded longer and delay your jump. So rather than jumping before the bounce, wait until the ball bounces off the wall. Then after you see that bounce, you're going to have a much easier time predicting the trajectory of the ball. And you'll also have extra time to line yourself up. So if you're struggling with rebound whiffs, remember, jump after the bounce, not before. In the short term, your shooting is going to be much more consistent that way. Finally, tip number eight, if all else fails, I want to teach you a new method that I don't personally use, but that a lot of you guys seem to like, and it's called ball net ball. Now, this was a shooting trick popularized by the pro coach Verge. So instead of just looking at the ball and then trying to, you know, shoot it somewhere on net, I want you to switch the order you do. So first check the ball, you know, when you're going for a shot, when you're going for a center, but then take a break to look at the net and pick a spot where you want to shoot. What this does is I think help you focus a little bit more when you're going for the shot. Then, and only then after you've checked the net, you go back to the ball until you make contact and you time your flip. So if you want to practice this, I highly recommend the workshop map aim training by Coco. I'll have it linked down below. Practice the ball net ball method. And for some of you, it might just make a massive improvement in your shooting. That was eight reasons you might be whiffing in Rocket League. And remember, most importantly, no, I'm not going to ask you to subscribe for my channel. If you are in a ranked game with me and I miss an open, why not just, you know, clip it and post it on Twitter or Instagram and tag me and say, nice shot, Luke. Imagine this guy trying to coach. You know, I always love those. Those are. <laughs> I'm washed. <laughs> Camille, I'm washed. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to soak up my tears. <laughs> if we don't get 500,000 subscribers, I'm going to, I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry. <laughs>